Hi there guys, so at this point we all have a lot of spare time and Tyson Fury is doing what Tyson Fury does, filling that spare time by calling out his rivals for their things in common and their one thing in common is they have all lost. He posted a picture on Instagram of all four of them spaced out around him with him with a crown on his head and saying they all have the same in common. All four below have the same thing in common, all lost. Laughing crying face. So obviously Tyson Fury is using this time to reflect on his dominance or his perceived dominance over the heavyweight division. Now, while that's true, all four of them have lost. I mean, Deontay Wilder and Andy Ruiz Jr. have recently lost in a heavyweight world title fight, whereas Anthony Joshua is currently the unified heavyweight world champion. Yes, he has lost the fight and that was to Andy Ruiz Jr., but he avenged that defeat. Now, Dylan White also, he has lost, but not in a heavyweight world title fight. He hasn't even had his world title opportunity yet. He has lost though. He lost to Anthony Joshua. And it is interesting how all of those five, the top heavyweights in the world, have all lost to each other. Deontay Wilder lost to Tyson Fury. Anthony Joshua lost to Andy Ruiz Jr. Andy Ruiz Jr. lost to Anthony Joshua. Dillian White has lost to Anthony Joshua. So while all four of them have lost, it was to each other. Now obviously Tyson Fury is highlighting something else here. He's highlighting that he is the only unbeaten fighter out of them five. He is the only one who is WBC champion and unbeaten. But I'm seeing something else here. I'm seeing arguably the top five heavyweights in the world and four of them have lost. But those losses came against each other. So what does that tell us? That tells us that they are actually starting to fight each other. Now obviously Anthony Joshua and Dylan White fought in 2015. That was five years ago so that was a while ago. But Anthony Joshua has fought Andy Ruiz Jr. And they are both now top five heavyweights in the world. Now obviously Andy Ruiz Jr. was not a top five heavyweight when Anthony Joshua fought him and lost but ultimately Andy Ruiz Jr. proved that he was in fact a top five heavyweight in the world by beating Anthony Joshua and Anthony Joshua proved he is one of the best in the division by beating him just six months later. And in addition to that they have fought twice. Anthony Joshua has been beaten by Andy Ruiz Jr. but Anthony Joshua has also beaten Andy Ruiz Jr. And the same goes for Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. They drew first time and then they had a rematch which Tyson Fury definitively won by beating and knocking out Deontay Wilder. Now obviously Dylan White is the one who is kind of left out. He hasn't had his opportunity to fight and rematch Anthony Joshua. He hasn't had his Tyson Fury fight, Andy Ruiz Jr. fight, Deontay Wilder fight. And that's not for the want of trying. He's tried to fight Tyson Fury. He's tried to fight Andy Ruiz Jr. Two offers, one offer to fight in the UK, one offer to fight in the US turned down by Andy Ruiz Jr. So it's not for the want of trying as I said, Dylan White wants to fight these guys and we know how long he's been trying to fight Deontay Wilder for the last what 900 days. So Dylan White wants to get in there, he wants to prove that he is number one because he believes it. But Tyson Fury is highlighting here that there are five top heavyweights in the world and four of them apart from him have lost. Andy Ruiz Jr. has lost to Anthony Joshua, Dylan White has lost to Anthony Joshua, and Deontay Wilder has lost to Tyson Fury, and Andy Ruiz Jr. has lost to Anthony Joshua. So as I said, while Tyson Fury is trying to assert his dominance and prove he is number one because he is the one who hasn't been beaten yet, he is actually highlighting something else, I believe. He is highlighting that they are actually starting to fight each other. In fact, given this, I would like to see Tyson Fury get in with Dylan White. I'd like to see him get in with Andy Ruiz Jr. Anthony Joshua as well, obviously that's the fight we want, the undisputed fight, but that is what I want to see. I want to see all of these guys get in together. Dylan White versus Andy Ruiz Jr. What a cracker that would be. And something else I've seen here, Anthony Joshua has fought Andy Ruiz Jr. twice. Tyson Fury has fought Deontay Wilder twice. So it is time for them to start mixing and matching. Andy Ruiz Jr. versus Dylan White and Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua. Maybe Dylan White still could fight Deontay Wilder. Just mix and match it. We want to see them all fight each other. And they could have a Super 6 tournament, much like they did in the Super Middleweight division a couple years ago. That would be great. Obviously, there are five of them. So they need another one. Who would that be? I'm going to say Alexander Usyk. That would be the person that would slot in with these heavyweights and have a massive Super 6 tournament. Now that would be incredible. Anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on this? Tyson Fury has taken to Instagram to mock his rivals, saying that they have all got something in common, and that is they have all lost. And he is the only one who is still unbeaten. Anyway, guys, drop your thoughts in the comments below. Click the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks, guys.